Hey guys, welcome back to another Vinny Vid Productions. In this video, I'm going to show you that I have my uh, layout uh, semi operational. I still have to do some more work to it, but uh, I spent about four hours on it yesterday and about another four hours on it today um, to get the yard functioning where I can actually do some switching in the yard. Um, I don't have any of my industries hooked up yet. Um, I'm waiting for some more turnouts. Um, I will be replacing uh, the rest of the turnouts on the main line uh, probably in about a week and a half to two weeks. But anyhow, uh, let's get to the layout and let me show you what I've done so far. Um, I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're sitting at the uh, yard throat from uh, Mobesh Yard in Phoenix. Um, I want to thank Atlas for their superb job on these Code 55 uh, turnouts. Um, I didn't have to do too much, uh, just add more jumper wires in the front and the back on all six rails, uh, added my uh, ground throws, took care of all the uh, flangeways, did the wheels on my, my locomotives, make sure they were okay. Um, but anyhow, uh, they, they're working for right now. Uh, they are temporary. Eventually I'll be uh, changing them out. I also, uh, if you guys remember, I said I was going to have two lines dedicated for my tankers. And there you go. I got my two lines for my tankers. And if we go all the way to the back, look at that mess of spaghetti back there, guys. That's all more wiring I need to do. Probably another two or three hours worth. Anyhow, um, now that that's been said, let's get on with the uh, real part of this video. Uh, so stay tuned. And, oh, and one more thing. Um, Mr. Chuck Baker, you and I had uh, go-rounds about this uh, crossover. And my stubbornness said that uh, it would not create a short. Um, and you said that it would. Well, guess what? It did. So instead of pulling all of this track work up what I did was um, right here and right here I insulated it so from here forward is reverse loop and from here back is the um, uh, normal wiring anyhow again let's get the show on the road alright right, guys uh, we're at the uh, train room number one and we're looking at Mobesh Yard in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, of course, you guys know that I'm modeling the P-Vine sub. And uh, we're going to have a uh, maiden voyage of three SD40s running through the turnouts that I uh, modified this morning. Uh, we will be leaving on track one and coming back on track two. So, um, our power is sitting at the uh, fueling station. So, let's get on over there and see what we got. You might not be able to see it because the tanks will be in the way. But we'll try and uh, get what we can. Alright, well there's the, there's the last unit. Anyhow, um, they're fueled up. And they got their sand. And they're ready to move on. So let's get the show on the road. And there we go. And we're going to be crossing over McDowell Road here. Turnouts still need a little bit more work, but they're way better than what they were. Uh, actually, what I did was I uh, combined mine and the ones that my buddy Frank, Dexter Dog 62 gave me. And I picked out the best, and uh, those are the ones I'm using right now. Um, eventually, all of those will get uh, changed out to Picos. Um, in a week or so I'm going to be getting uh, some more turnouts for the main line what they're going across now is the Pico turnouts that I installed just a few days ago and not looking too shabby anyhow we'll cross over to main line number two And we'll cross over main line number two and we'll be entering the yard on tra uh, yard lead number two. 
These are all Pico turnouts that's going across now, fellas. And the one that's going to go across now is a Curve Atlas turnout, which will be replaced in my next uh, batch of turnouts. Anyhow, we're coming in number uh, two, and we're going to go straight back. And then we'll make our moves across the, uh, the yard uh, throat. I don't have all my ground throws on these yet, so it's a little tricky working these puppies. Alright, and we'll cross over now. Over there, and over there, and then we'll be going into uh, this track right here. Um, yeah, we need to go the other front ones. There you go. Got to fire that engineer. Don't know where the reverser is. Alright, and we're going to go across this turn out, and then we're going to set him up. And I think I forgot to throw a turn out. I did. So we're probably going to have a derailment here. Alright, going into number two. And we'll come back out. And we'll go into number three. Back into number three. This track really needs to get a good cleanup. It's really terrible. And now we're going to number four. Sorry, I'm trying to work the turnouts, the camera, and the throttle all at the same time, fellas, so it's, uh, bear with me here. Alright, number four, and then we'll just go right back to the, uh, fueling station. And that will conclude this little test run. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, for me, I think it's pretty cool that I actually have a train running again. Um, pull them up there and get them lined up right. All right. Anyhow, um, uh, your comments, suggestions, input, and subs are always welcome. Thanks for watching. And uh, for now, that's all, folks. BNSF. 69, 51, out.